what's up you guys after she reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more roswell this is season two episode nine let's get into the episode this is a mistake you've been looking forward to it all day i mean this whole thing coming here to the city wrath lonnie you don't go to school Man. anymore what do i know about war and peace and, and politics <laughs> yeah, when he gets here, if he gets here, we're putting him in his place. Cause I'm sick of getting an attitude. Who puts Mayo on Pastrami? Hey, you! What kind of sick mother puts Mayo on Pastrami, huh? What is up with the like? He's here. What? Took you long enough. Where the hell you been? Guy in this town. Oh, he got killed. How is he alive? What? I feel like the show has like grown beyond like Where the sheriff. They? They're doing the tourist thing. Empire State. Alex. Statue of Liberty. You let them wander around this open sewer alone. Find Nick Welch's character. I can't think of his name right, right now. Kyle. <laughs> Without Max, no one at the summit's gonna give you two the time of day. We're two of the royal four. Royal rejects is more like it. He'll get this straight. We are the originals. They are the rejects. Uh, Gene, they were carefully hidden away in Roswell and got custody of the Granola. You were dumped in the sewer. Figure that out. Yo, yo, here they come. Go. Go ahead, this stupid, rat-fested, you're so butt ugly town! Does that woman not care that her bread was stolen? I would care if my bread was stolen. I love bread. So this is where you were born? Day one. Wake up, break through the membrane, step out of the pods into the brave new world of the sewers. And now you live here? It beats living in Brooklyn. I don't know about that. You two done the deed yet? Made the beast with two backs? Well, you are in for a treat. Alien sex, baby. Except no imitations. <laughs> the summit? No summit until you meet the emissary. You gotta pass the test first. Test? Not you. Just him. They wanna make sure you're the real king before they sit down, but don't worry, you'll pass. So when do I meet with this? Enough. We'll get you to the church on time. Your parents asking questions? I think he's gone camping again. You gotta think he's turned into some kind of tree hugger. They think he doesn't want to spend Thanksgiving with his Why? family. He could have at least. Max not tell Maria. You know Max. I thought they like I mean, it's bonded got over to do with you. It's probably got something to do with uh. Hi. Can we? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're uh, out of here. Thanks for helping. You got a serious problem. What? Very vicious rumor is going around about you in school. And I mean, I shouldn't make a bigger deal about it than it is because I know we can take care of it. But it's just that like everybody's talking about it. So... Maria. Okay. The word is that you and Kyle slept together. I know, it's so humiliating, I know. I, I just can't imagine who made it up. That's true. No, Liz, the rumor is that you and Kyle Valenti slept together as in, like, sexually. And it's true. <laughs> okay, you lost your virginity to Kyle. I mean, that is a revelation, and I don't know what that's about, but why didn't you tell me? I was embarrassed. That is such a completely unacceptable answer for you to give to me, your best friend in the entire world. I didn't want to talk about it. Why? Why didn't you want to talk about it? Why? Did he, like, hurt you or something? Was this, like, a date rape? No, thing? no, it was nothing like that, okay? I was just upset about Max, and, you know, Kyle was there for me, and we were close at one point, and one thing just led to another, and we... And you didn't tell me. Hello. Look, we need to talk in person. <laughs> it's three in the morning. Please, Maria. Where? The place by the thing that we went that time with what's her name. I'm there, bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know this all sounds really crazy. No, please, crazy is, uh, is sleeping with Kyle Valenti, so please get to that part. So, um, right, Max, no, future Max tells me that the reason that the world comes to an end is because, get this, he and Tess weren't together when their enemies came to Earth. And the reason that they weren't together was because Max and I got married. Oh. I know, it's really confusing. No, 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 I'm with you. Keep going. Future Max tells me that I have to find a way to get present-day Max to fall out of love with me. So you slept with Kyle. No, no, not really. I arranged it so Max saw Kyle and I in bed together, but nothing really happened. So Max thinks that you and Kyle... I'm sorry I lied to you. No, I'm, I'm so sorry that I got so mad. I should have known that it was, you know, an alien thing. Are you still a virgin? Yes. Okay. Okay, come on. Virgin. Brody, you didn't call for your order, so I brought you one anyway. I brought you a galaxy sub, hold the mayo, an extra pepper jack. Oh, Mr. David. So this is the royal seal. You got it. And these are the five worlds of our star system. And that one, that's home? 
Home. Bingo. That's how the emissary knew you were the real deal. You got the royal seal stenciled on your brain. And these other four worlds, they'll all be sending a representative to the summit? Well, they'll be doing the possession thing again, you know, like the emissary did. Why don't they come in person? You see, little girl, uh, space is what we call very, very big. You know, it's not easy to get places. People just don't zip around the galaxy like on Star Trek. No one's coming back here again in person, unless there's a good reason. I'd like to bring us home. We can go home? Yeah, we can. If the man here cuts a deal at the summit. What kind of a deal? A deal to bring peace back to our world. In our world, blood on the streets, baby. That dude Kavar that took your throne, people hate his ass. My mother sent our pods to Earth for safekeeping, hoping we'd come back one day. And that day is now. The word is that Kavar's desperate and he'll do anything to end the fighting. Including let us come back home. What about Michael and Isabel? And Ava. They're expecting the Royal Four, not the Royal Seven, yeah. I'm not leaving Michael and Isabel behind. Max, they're... They seem so happy, you know. In that cute little town. Chill, chill. It'll all be okay, you'll see. It'll all fall our way. Unless they bring up the granolith again. The granolith? Yeah, yeah, it's this uh, stupid religious thing. The protector told us it's like the Holy Grail, you know, some piece of junk people on our planet worship for some reason. You ever heard of it? No. no. That's too bad. Yeah, it would have been a nice bargaining chip if you had. I haven't. No problem, you probably won't even bring it up anyway. Oh, you do have a thing. I saw it, and I watched it happen again. What? Sam. The accident. The way his body just lay there no. in the street. It's okay. it's okay. It's just a dream. It's all my fault. I should have stopped. I could have stopped it. I should have known. No, I should what? have known. No, what? Can't talk about it. Zan was stubborn strong he he put up a wall and he just couldn't get through he always tried to do everything right to be perfect he was like that right up until we must have left him a lot i'm not sure he ever really loved me back though why just a feeling i always felt like he was waiting for someone else to walk into his life so what about you how'd you find out about max he just haul off and dropped the bomb one day no it was right over there I was working, and uh, he was sitting at that booth. And um, someone brought in a gun, and it kind of went off, and I got shot. I was dying, but Max brought me back. He brought you back? Yeah. Hey, it's me. Max, where are you? Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm still in New York. I just I wanted to call and see how everything was going. So how, how's, how's Thanksgiving? It was great. Mom cried all the way from the cranberry sauce to the peach cobbler. So did I. Isabel, how would you feel? about going home. When you say home. I mean, home. Is that even possible? If it is, do you want to go or not? I don't know. I mean, leaving mom and, and dad and Roswell and for another planet, it just, it's, it seems crazy. It sounds crazy. Well, it isn't. And I need an answer from you and Michael both. What? You can't, you can't do this. You can't just drop this on me all of a sudden. I mean, God, you just leave without even saying goodbye with those people, without even discussing it with Michael and I. And, and now you expect me to... I guess I'm just being a self-indulgent little boy again. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, I don't want to rehash the entire thing, Alondra. That's not fair. Neither was letting me hear the real story from Lonnie. I'm sorry, Max. It's a little late for apologies, don't you think? Clearly... You should have said that the first time I confronted you. He said that you didn't... The first what? What are you talking about? Look, I'll call you when the summit's over. Clearly there was some, uh, some drops there. Why did Bonnie impersonate me? I don't know. Why don't I believe you? That's your problem. Well, we can work it out, I guess. Don't piss us off. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Okay, 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 okay. wait, wait. It's okay. Come on, Ava. Oh, wait, look, Ava, you, you told me that you had a secret that you couldn't tell anyone. But, um, if Max is in danger, you have to tell us. You lost Zan. Please don't let me lose Max. I love him, you know, and I love him just as much as you did Zan. Please, Ava, don't let me lose him, please. Lonnie and Rath killed Zan. And they're probably gonna kill Max. Now you get in trouble, you look to us and we'll help you out. I think he'll handle it. Hey, is someone talking to you, retard? Right, that's it. I don't speak to her like that. Let's get something clear right here, right now. I'm the one who passed the emissary's test. And that means from now on, I'm the one in charge here. Understood, Duke. You're the king. And for your information, her name is Tess. 
Breath. Take Tess and go inside. I want to talk to Max for a minute. Come on. I'm proud of you, Max. You're everything I loved about Zan and more. You're the brother I never knew. Actually, my name's Larrick. Are you Zan? They tell me that used to be my name. But my name is Max. Max Evans. He doesn't even know Let's who he is. How can he sit in conference with us? He sits with us because the emissary certified him. Kathana, Ciro, Hanar, and I will represent each of our worlds. Max will speak for his. Actually, Kavar speaks for his worlds. And I speak for Kavar. Max? How is he alive? Nice to see your genocidal girlfriend again. Killed anyone today? Day's not over. What a charmer. Can we begin? You know him? Long story. He was in Roswell. Be careful. That much I know. We've got to find a way to warn Max. He's in the middle of the summit right now. Where's the summit being held? Some building downtown. You got to do better than that. I don't know anything more. Hey, Isabel, um, can't you dreamwalk, Max? You know, um... Put a warning in his mind. You've done it before. You know, when he was in the white room. That was different. He was drugged. I was only a few miles away. He's across the country now. I think we're out of alternatives. We're here in the spirit of reconciliation. We're not here to rehash the past, point fingers, and assign blame. Can we get to it? We're here to end 50 years of misery and suffering among our world. Kathena attacks Kavar. Kavar attacks Cyril. Cyril attacks me. The situation is intolerable. Agreed. We have to find a solution. And Kavar has a solution. Kavar will abdicate the throne and allow the royal four to return home under the following conditions. One, Max becomes king only in name. All real power and government remains in Kavar's hands. Two, Max calls upon his followers to lay down their weapons and support the new government. And three, most importantly, Max returns the granolith to us. The granolith? No, it's no longer on our world. Yes, we've known about it for a long time. No, Kavar decided he didn't need to tell you. And yes, we know where it is. It's with Max. Is this true, Max? It's here. What? So there you have it. Max comes home with the granolith. That's all is forgiven. Stupid. Like, why would you ever Do give it to those? No. I need to think about this. No. I'd be like, surprised that's if you didn't. Remotely a good deal. But be quick about it. Holding on to these bodies isn't easy. In fact, it's chewing up huge amounts of our resources. Why would you ever agree to those terms? That's literally nothing. Cut a deal with Nicholas. I don't trust him any farther than I can throw him. You can throw him pretty far. Then there's Lonnie and Rath. It's hard to believe they have the same DNA of, of Michael and Isabel. For what it's worth, I don't trust them. And then there's this whole thing about the Granlith. Why did you lie to Lonnie and Rath about the Granlith anyway? There was something Liz said just before we left. She told me the Granlith could be dangerous if, if it fell into the wrong hands. How does she know that? She wouldn't say. But she's never even seen the Granlith. I know, I know. But I just keep thinking about it. The way she said it, she seems so sure. I just don't know what to do. Whatever you do, it'll be the right choice. All you've ever done is trust me, been there for me whenever I needed you. Yeah, she's I've never done it. anything to deserve that kind of loyalty. I think in that other life, you must have been one great husband. Yo. Yo, yourself? Miss me? Always. Can't wait to see more of you. Oh, that'll have to wait until we get home. Let's be clear, Lonnie. You don't get home unless I get the granolith. Let me be clear, Nicholas. I don't give a damn whether or not you get the granolith. I'm going home. Big talk for a woman with no cards to play. I got cards. I just haven't shown them to you yet. I'm not like the others. I remember our world. I remember Kavar. I remember what it was like to be Valandra. I want that life, and I'll do what I have to to get back. Be on my side, and you'll benefit. Be against me, and, well, it would be a mad, crazy idea to be against me. This is fucking weird. Don't worry about Max. He's a cornball. He'll go for the deal. He'll go for the deal because millions of lives hang in the balance. Besides, he wants to go home and give Mommy a kiss and get fitted for his crown. He won't live long enough to wear it. Kavar wants him dead. Well, I'd have to be a special kind of stupid not to figure that out. If he takes the deal, there'll be a nice public execution to attend. If he doesn't take the deal, Kavar still wants him dead. I can arrange that. It's not a deal. What's in it for me? Passage home. 
but just you. The freak with the Mohawk stays here. Yeah, I can live with that. See you at the summit. What a woman. I can't reach him. Yeah, but you gotta try again. It won't do any good. He's not hearing me. Okay, so um, what's plan B? There isn't one. Liz can do it. What? What are you talking about? What? Max brought you back from the dead. He's been changed. What do you mean by changed? There ain't enough time to explain. He's got to trust me here. If Max brought you back, then you're different now. You lied to me. I don't like it. But there it is. But what's about to go down in there is a hell of a lot bigger than you and I, Max. Okay? Millions of lives hang in the balance. Millions of people may die if we don't stop this fighting. So this is not about whether you and I go home. We are nothing in the scheme of things. This is about the greater good. After you, your highness. Please, take my hand. I don't know why, but I'm really scared to do this. I mean, I don't have time for this, Liz. You know, if, if you can't contact him, what makes you think I can? I know my brother, and I know that if there's one voice he will hear, no matter where he is, no matter what he's doing, it's yours. Take my hand, Liz. Well, Max, have you made your decision? Yes, I have. And the answer is no. I will not give up the Grand Lift to you. Not to you, not to Kavar, not to anyone. It was entrusted to me. You're all witnesses. Kavar tried to be reasonable, tried to extend a hand of peace, had it slapped away. Our business is at an end here. Our offers are withdrawn. You made a lot of enemies here today. You ever wonder why your predecessor was killed? He made bad decisions. You don't remember any of this, I'm sure, but our families used to be very close. You and I practically grew up together. I was there at your father's funeral, at your coronation, your wedding. We were friends. It was so painful to watch you fall, to see you trying so hard to make a better world for your people, and then to watch you have it all taken away by a man like Kivar. I told you you were trying to do too much too soon, that change takes time, but you wouldn't listen. You just kept on. What's the point? It's all ancient history now. What a shame it is to see history repeat itself. There's a whole bunch of people telling you what you should and shouldn't do. You do what you think is right. What's up with you, huh? You just threw away our only chance of ever getting home. Maybe. Hey, who do you think you are, huh? Making big time left decisions for Lonnie and me? You think you're the man, is that it? That's right. I am the man. <laughs> Which is what he, uh, Zan said. Okay, you the man. Screw Nick, but screw all. Screw him tight. We'll find another way home. I'm mad hungry. Let's go get a slice. get inside my head, find out where the Grand Lith is. I didn't want them to, so I fought back. How? I, I don't know. Where are they? I don't know. Tess, are you all right? I'm ready to go home now. Hey, this is a Smallville song. Home to Roswell. There's a Clock and Lana song. So in the end, what made you decide not to take the deal? I was going to. I was going to take the chance that, that Nicholas was telling the truth. But in the end, I realized that any deal which meant leaving you and Michael behind was something I couldn't do. You're my sister, Isabel. Isabel Valandra. Whatever your name is, it, it doesn't matter to me. You're my sister, and I love you. And that comes first, always. Kind of weird, I, like, I attribute this song to being, like, love Goodbye. Goodbye. between two people, okay. but, like, not familial love. <laughs> Keep looking for some sort of change. 
the main line. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. It's nice to see you smile again. I want to thank you for saving my life. I guess it makes us even. And I'd like to start again our friendship. I mean, I miss it. Yeah, um, I miss it too. There's just one thing I have to say. One thing I have to ask. I promise I'll never ask it again. Yeah, go ahead. Did you sleep with Kyle? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. How do we have you off, guys? <laughs> The evidence was there, right? <laughs> like, why would you think otherwise? I don't know. Hey, what's up, you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this, very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. That was Roswell Season 2 Episode 9. Um, it was okay. Um... They didn't explain how Nicholas is alive again. Uh, what? Well, okay. Uh, we don't know where the dupes went. Where's Ava gone? Um. Apparently Liz has changed. I don't know. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.